time because you click that button I'm now invading your space with my latest pipe video only because you want to anyway after to skip all the nonsense here all the preamble nonsense I'm opening up a fresh tin tonight of a tobacco that intrigues me not only from the reviews that I've seen, um, but from the artwork on the tin itself. Um, this is a tobacco that is said to be very close to Dunhill's Elizabethan mixture, minus the Perique. And that hint out that we'll just give you there may not tell you what it is. This is what it is. Dunhill ye old sign and if the goodness of the tobacco matches up with the coolness of this artwork I'll be in business for I? so let me get my little old uh, screwdriver dial here my craftsman uh, I call it my screwdriver dial I can dig it out of my, uh, oh boy. You know, you know it's, it's something you need uh, to open these tins because they're very, um, they give you a hard time. They're sealed good, and that is a good thing. So, you want to hear that magic? Sound. There it goes. Good thing I got quick reflexes. I almost just dumped my whole soda on the floor. Anyway, here we go for the first time. Dunhill Ye Old Sign Pipe Tobacco, a dark Virginia blend. Mm. Mm. So far, I know that I'm a chocolate head, but so far I'm kind of getting a chocolatey note. So I would. Hmm. And you wait like, you say you wait 10 minutes. Oh. You wait 10 or 15 minutes. You wait like 9 minutes. Classic Virginia. I'm trying to, like, I was at Maggie. Bright Virginia. It says dark Virginia. A dark Virginia blend. Okay. But the leaves look bright to me, so I don't know. And I wasn't like, um, I'm still exploring the world of pipe tobacco and tobaccos in general. Anyway, it's got that nice little cardboard cover, disc. Let's see what else I can get. Kind of like grassy smell, but not not too much of a. If it does have a grassy smell, it's that of. Um, Freshly cut grass, well, green grass, kind of. So. Very good. My nostrils aren't uh, lack the complexity to pick up any other scents at this time or aromas. So, anyway, the pipe I'm going to be loading this fine tobacco in is my Dracula 68. One of my favorite pipes. I'm guessing that is a bent apple, a half bent apple. 
that's what it appears to be. So, let's go into the time tunnel, and I'll see you on the other end. Okay, I'm back out of the time tunnel. I've got my pipe loaded up with yield sign. And um, on the dry draw. Oh, yeah. She came in the bedroom. Getting a good grassy hay like flavor. I just, you know, I wouldn't make a big deal of it. It's a toothpaste. You know, her bought. He did. But I doubt that, like, put him in such a bad mood that. I mean, jeez. The state of the tobacco in the tin does not require any drying whatsoever. I would say it's perfect. As, uh, the term that's often used would be Goldilocks. Whatever. Perfect dryness or perfect between wet and dry. Once again, I'm a chocolate lover. Let that not affect my taste uh, presentation of this, but I am getting sort of a chocolatey kind of flavor from this, and I don't know. Let's see. Good stuff. Now to get into the uh, tobaccos. This is a straight Virginia in a fine ribbon cut, richly fermented. And the way it's produced, it supposedly brings out a tea um, aroma from the tin. My nostrils don't get that. This is like the way it's been described on tobacco reviews. Um, it does have a subtle sweetness to it. Because when I was up there, It's mellow. It's not very. It's not a harsh tobacco. Good smoke after a meal. Rather good with some iced tea. Um. Always wondered. I have a question for all you English fellows out there. Um. Your body. Uh, it's it's a question that's pondered my mind for some years now, and I've just never really. I guess I could have Googled it, or you know, I, I think I believe I asked one of my English neighbors once. I can't really remember what her answer was, but it has popped back in my mind again at this time, and it rouses my curiosity. Um, I know the English rather favor tea over okay. coffee, um, supposedly, to, uh, according to popular belief, um, maybe they do drink more coffee than what we uh, speculate they do, I don't know, but I always wondered why do they drink iced tea, and is iced tea uh, popular over there, like in this form, like it is, without any cream in it or anything, um, and if if not, how come? If not, how come? Um, why don't they favor the? Um, why don't they desire the iced tea like they do the hot tea? I personally myself am not a hot tea person. I used to drink it growing up uh, when I would get up in the morning, and I I drank it for many 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 years, and then I kind of got away from it. I just rather have my iced tea um, but it's kind of arouses my curiosity um, maybe one of you can answer that question for me 
or maybe when I'm done here, I'll Google it. So, um, unfortunately, the old sign does come after the uh, FDA grandfathering date. So, if all those things go through, it will kill it. Unless Dunhill decides to pay the fee, and if I remember correctly, within the next 12 to 18 months, they plan on pulling all their tobacco products from the American market. Uh, for how long, I don't know. I don't know whether this will come back or not. Um, I like it. I like it. It's good tobacco. Um, it's not fabulous. I wouldn't give it five stars. Because there's very few tobaccos um, that I do give five stars to. Um, this is rather not one of them. Not yet, anyway. Um, but I'm only uh, three quarters, or rather a quarter of the way down the bowl. Put it that way. I've got three quarters of a bowl of tobacco right now. So we'll see where that goes. Um, But it's uh, tasty. And you don't want it to uh, pull on it too hard or draw on it too fast because it will get hot. It doesn't have, it's kind of on the dry side when you take it out of the tin. But it's not completely dry or anything. It has a perfect um, state of moisture. So it's it's good, especially in my Dracula, which I only smoke Virginia's in, by the way. I've obviously dedicated this pipe to that. Well, it's good thing you 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 contact the Lord because you're probably getting your money first. But. Uh, Love the tin art. Beautiful tin art. Old English kind of tin art. And um, I'll probably jar this up immediately because it's not on the uh, moist side. So, but yeah, it's got that subtle sweetness. And it does have a tea flavor to it. I will agree with that. When first um, when the tin was first open, I kind of yeah, I said I got a chocolatey smell. Perhaps I'm mistaking that for a tea. Maybe that's I'm mistaking that's the tea smell too. for chocolate. There it is. It's a very nice ribbon cut, and it's a good tobacco, it's mild, mild smoke, it'll be really good for the morning. And it would probably be good, I would imagine, with a Blue Moon Ale. So. That's the old sign for you. Okay. Yeah, I did too. Anyway, that'll be it. I'm going to shove out of here and uh, enjoy this straight Virginia blend. Um, so you all take it easy. And I will see you on the other side. Cheers. Wow.
gone.